Welcome back. Let's go over variables now in Terraform. So if you're familiar with any programming languages, variables are a very common thing. They're used all over the place. Well, Terraform has their own way of doing variables as well. And it works pretty much identical to any other programming language out there. And if you're not familiar with variables, variables basically just allow you to set a value in one place and use it in multiple, multiple other places. Uh, and then so you only have one source of truth for where that variable is defined. Uh, in Terraform, you can pass in these variables to your configuration files, so it makes your configuration files more, more dynamic and, and adjustable to things like dev environments or prod environments, or you know, if, once we get into modules, you'll see how, how they're very useful there as well, and into workspaces. So let's go over a, just a couple of a very basic example. So one way to declare a variable in Terraform is you can declare them in, in really any file that you want, but let, let's just start with a very basic example. So we're just gonna, we've got our main TF, main.tf file, which we're gonna do, an, we have an instance and a provider. Perfect. So let's let's define our, our let's define a variable. And what we wanna do is let's, let's take this instance type and have it so we dynamically pass it in because maybe if you're working in a dev environment, you only, you want the T2 micro, but on a production environment, you want the, you know, T2 large or extra large or something. So let's let's make sure, let's not have that hard code. Let's let's allow that to be dynamic, dynamically changed, but not actually changing our our configuration code um, for that. So to declare a variable, we can do variable. Uh, so you always declare just saying variable, then a space. And then in double quotes, you can do your variable name, whatever you want it to be. So let's just name it my instance type. So now that my instance type is the variable name. And then you have uh, curly braces. So you can actually define the variable just like that. And that, that's perfectly valid. And then what that says is that, that it just requires that variable to be passed in. But let's, let's give it. Uh, a couple other options. We can specify the type of variable. So like, do we want it to be a Boolean, a string or a number? So we're gonna do it the instance type. We, so we're gonna pass it a string. So we can just say string, just like that. And then we can also give it a default. So maybe we wanted a default of t2.micro. So if we didn't pass in the variable, it would, it would default um, to t2.micro and then you can also do a description and the description is merely just a way to just defi des describe what the variable is you know it's it's up to you if you want to fill it in but my instance type will say you know and all of these none of these are required at all, the, these the type, default, or description are not required. It's up to you. All right. So now the way we we need to be able to use this variable. So we got my instance type. So we want to do that for our instance type here. So what we can do, get rid of that. And the way to access a variable is by doing var dot and then our variable name. So it'll be var dot my instance type. So now whatever we pass into my instance type will get assigned to instance type here. And since we added a default here, if we don't pass anything, t2.micro will, will be the default. Otherwise, if we do pass something in to my instance type, it will be that value. So let's see how, how do we, okay. So perfect, so we've got this very basic variable and all of that, we've defined it, but how do we how do we pass a value to this? So I'm going to remove that just so we can make sure we do pass a value. Um, and also this type. So since we said the type string, if we were to pass it a a number or a boolean or something like that, it, it's going to fail because it's you know it doesn't pass the type checking. So it's got the basic type checking like uh, you've seen in, in other uh, programming languages as well. All right, so there's multiple ways that you can pass in variables to Terraform. 
I'm going to go through, I'll go through all of them and maybe go through more of them at the end. Uh, but I'm going to go through the most common here. But if we try to, like right now, if we try to run Terraform Apply, oh, I did not save my file. So let me save the file. I don't think I saved the file. We'll see. All right, yeah. So I did run Terraform Apply. And you see how now it gave me a prompt. It says var my instance type, my instance type. So it's asking me for a value. Since I didn't pass anything in, it's asking me for a value now. So I could do t2 dot, you know, large. And now that's my value. So now, now that's what's getting passed into instance type here. All right, so I did this. So now we should see. All right, so now it, I, I've already ran a Terraform apply on this before. Uh, so it's, it's changing it from a t2 micro to the t2 large. So we passed in that, t, that t2 large here. So perfect. I'm going to say no here to not create it. So now, perfect. So now we, we've passed in the variable to, so on the command line, we passed in this variable, my instance type, and it used it here. Perfect. So there's, there's one problem with that. The, to not, to use the command line to pass in the variable is not a, not a very good practice and it's just not going to get you far. So for the most part, you don't want to use that at all. But one common way to pass in variables is through a, creating a variables file. So you can create, you can create any file you want, but one, st one standard to, to start with is a terraform dot, uh, let's create uh, terraform dot tf vars. So we can create this file here. And then what we can do is we can set our, our uh, variable value inside of this this file. So instead of passing on the command line, we can take this my instance type and go here. Do my instance type equal, and then we can do t two dot large here. So now, if we run Terraform apply, we shouldn't get that command line prompt anymore but we should still see it going from a T2 micro to a T2 large. Perfect. So we, we did that. And you see, we, we really didn't do, we didn't do anything there except for create this TFRs file and set the variable there. And what happened is Terraform automatically loaded this file. So if you name a file exactly this, terraform.tfvars, Terraform will automatically load that for you. So you don't have to worry about loading it. Like those variables will just become included in your program automatically. You can also name files like uh, foobar.auto.tfvars and it will it will get included as well. So anything anything that's got the, the auto in there, auto.tfvars will also get auto loaded. So you can do bar baz something like that. So that this, this right here will get auto loaded by Terraform. So you can de declare variables inside of this file here. But if you had a, a file name like foo.tf vars, that will not get included automatically. And I will show you how to load, uh, include that file in just a second. I right, would keep it simple. We've got our terraform.tf vars file. And we've declared our declared a variable here. All right, so the next thing we want to do is, you see how we declared the variable inside the main.tf? Like, we've got one variable, so it's not that big of a deal, but you might have, you know, you could get 10 variables in your file that you need to de declare and all that, and it's best practice to not declare your variables inside of your main configuration for the most part. So what you want to do, a standard practice is to, to create a variables.tf file. So we can do that. And then this variables.tf will also automatically get loaded by by Terraform automatically because it's got the .tf. So let's let's take this out of here and add it to tf vars or to variables.tf. 
So, so we've got that there. So now we, we're, we've got three files that are being used for just this one variable. Um, which is a good thing, because as you add more variables, it's good to have that separation of concern. So now you just have like nice clean code in your main.tf. Then you've got your variable definitions, or your ver the your, your variable definitions defined inside of variables.tf, and then your values for your uh, variables are defined in the terraform.tf vars. So perfect. So so now we we're, we're dynamically passing in this instance type. So that's cool. So we could also do the same thing for the AMIs if we wanted to. You know, that would be the, the same concept, but let's 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 do a different variable type. So we did a string, but let's let's maybe pass in these tags dynamically. So it's, so maybe we needed that. So again, so let's let's define another variable. Do do it uh, variable Uh, not equals variable, you know, my, let's just name it instance tags. Instance tags. So that's going to be our variable name. And then we've got our block. But this time we're going to want to do a, a object here. So this isn't a string. So you see how tags is equal to the curly brace here. So this, this, this is an object. So if you think of, if you, you're familiar with like Python, this would be like a dictionary. If you're familiar with JavaScript, it would be a object as well. So the way to do to define that is we can do again, you can just do, you know, curly braces, and then it'll accept whatever value you want. But most of the time, you want to give it a type. So you're just making sure that your users are inputting the correct, the correct data. So let's do type equals object. And then we have a, a parentheses here, and let's do. So let's let's define what each key is going to be. So what we want to do is we want to pass in this object, and we want to make sure that they pass in a name and a foo, and we want to make sure. Let's do one is going to be a string and one is going to be a number. So let's change that to that. So what we can do is we can do name equals string it's kind of like kind of like the above with just a, a string but since we got an object now we're just taking the key and saying that the name has to be a string that we pass in and then we're gonna do foo and we can do number so now we can't pass in a string we have to pass in a number so perfect so we don't even need to do a description unless we want to it's up to you it's, it's probably good practice to do a description just so you so if somebody else is reading your code who needs to come in and look, you can see exactly what, you know, what that variable is for. All right, so we have our instance tags here. So this is an object now, defined with the object keyword and then parentheses, and then inside of these uh, curly braces, we have our, our key and then our, our type. So let's, let's assign this some values in our TF vars file. Let's do instance tags, I think that's what we called it. Yeah, instance tags equals. So now we're going to do curly brace. And then we want to set a name and a foo value. So let's set the name. And this is going to be set just like it is here for the most part. So let's say net or, or name tuts instance. And then we have foo. Let's set foo to, you know, foo bar. Let's see what happens. So now, go. All right. So let's go back. Let's let's use our variable that we just defined. Not sure. You know, to use our variable here, the instance tags, we can just do var dot instance tags and we should be good so now our tags are set to this variable instead of hiding hard code so now maybe like you wanted to pass in the name and then the, that attribute of foo we can do that so now let's see what happens if we run terraform apply oh we get an error 
So the given value is not valid for variable instance tags. A number is required. And that's because we set foo here to a number right here, but we passed in foobar. So that's why the type the type checking is important. And it's just it's helpful to for de debugging and all that. And if you have mo other users other than yourself, you know, working with this Terraform code, it, it makes it a little bit easier for that other user. So let's just say one, two, three. And then now let's do Terraform apply. All right, and then let's see what, what we got here. All right, so now you can see tags. Name is going to be Tut's example. Oh, wait. That is wrong. What, what is Tut's example doing? Do we not save the file? So we have instance tags. Instance tags, Tut's instance. What happened? All right, there we go. Yeah, so I must not have saved the file. So now you have Tut's instance, or going from Tut's example to Tut's instance, which is this here. So now it's all it's all coming from from here. So perfect. All right, so we've we've gone over string variables here. We've gone over an object variable. There's also a couple other kinds you can do. You can do like a list variable. A list is just like a, a like if you're familiar with Python, like a Python list or an array in other programming languages. So we could do, if we wanted to do, you know, variable foobar, we could do type of list. And what this will do, this will allow us to, you know, do foobar equals one, two, three, or one, whatever, one, three, five, it doesn't matter. So we can assign it here. So it would be multiple, multiple values here, you know, and you see how we did numbers. So we can enforce that and do number here that to make sure that everything that we pass in to this list is a number. We can also do string as well, you know, and then set that to string. Perfect. All right, so that's a general overview of, of variables. So let's, let's go on a little bit further and see about different ways and we can set variables and use variables. So we did this terraform.tf vars file. That file automatically gets loaded by Terraform. But sometimes maybe you have, you know, when we get into workspaces or, or modules, this might make a little bit more sense to you, but you can create a, a file name like foo.tf vars as well. And what you can do is instead of loading the variables from this Terraform vars, you could maybe have a uh, a dev and a prod file. So actually, this foo.vars foo is a bad example. So let me remove that. But you might have like a, a dev.tf vars and a prod.tf vars. So you might have like a configuration file for your dev environment and a configuration file for your production environment and and being able to separate this out is is very nice you know but since this this file these files are not named terraform.tfvars they're not going to get loaded automatically so if you want to have you know the the variables from dev.tfvars the way you can do that is you can do terraform Terraform apply. Hopefully this is 
large enough. Terraform apply, and then you can pass uh, pass in a, a argument of var file, and then you can pass dev .tf vars. And then now what it's going to do is it's going when it when you do the apply, it's going to load the the dev .tf vars file and the terraform .tf vars file. So it would load both of those. So that's a good way to do it if your distinction. Uh, you want to do have a prod environment and a dev environment. You can pass in the different files like that. Another, another way to pass in variables is to, instead of var file, you can just do it through the command line as var and set like instance or my instance type equal t2.large here if you wanted to. And that would work just fine. And then another way, so there's, there's a lot of different ways to, to pass in these variables, which I'll post a link to the, the Terraform documentation so you can see everything about this. But an, another way to do that, uh, to pass in these variables, is through environment variables. So you could do, if we want to pass in my instance type, we could do, we could set an environment variable. So let's just set the environment variable on the command line. Uh, so we could do tf var so this is this is custom this will be terraform will look for this look for the tf underscore var underscore prefix and then anything after that we could set one of our variable names that's defined in here so we can set my instance type here equals t2 dot large there Let's just do. Uh, let's just do four x large, so you can you'll be able to see, and then we can do terraform apply. And there is variable precedence, which I will go over in just a second. But since I passed it here, um, it will actually still use this value because th this. It starts, it looks for values first at the environment variable, and then it'll trickle down. But since it found it here, it will use this one. So let's comment this out. But now if we do terraform apply, we should see, if we have no errors, we should see that it says it's gonna do a 4x large. Wanting value for undeclared variable. I see, here, um, oh, I've got the foobar. I left that in there. So that's cool. That's good, actually. So now it's going from 2t micro to t2 4x large. So that 4x large is grabbing from that environment variable that we set here, the tf underscore var. You know, if we wanted to do instance tags, we could specify that here as well if you want to. So this might be good for, you know, if you have database passwords you wanted to pass in, you could do it that way, or user information, or, or just something. You could, you could pass that in there. But so Terraform will look for that tf underscore var prefix and take it from there. And a lot of these, these, these variables will make more sense once we get into modules and Terraform modules and Terraform workspaces. Uh, because because you'll be passing those these variables into that, like the, the dev environment and the prod environment will make a lot more sense uh, then. So stay tuned for that. But let's go over one more thing of variable precedence, like I said. So, so yeah, variable definition pre precedence. So it's gonna start, it's gonna first depend, cause you could have the, the variable def, uh, set in multiple places. Like we just set it, on through the command line with the tf vars we set the environment variable but we also had it here so now we've set we would have set my instance type twice so which one does terraform look for so first it starts at environment variables it looks to see if a variable is set there it, if it is it'll use it and then it also tr then but then it trickles down to the terraform.tf vars file if it's set here it's going to use this one and discard the environment variable here. 
And then there's also, we didn't go over JSON files. Let me, I'll go over that in just a sec. But then if you pass something on through the command line or the var file, these will override any of these previous variables set here. So keep that in mind if you have if you're setting variables in multiple places, the same one that which what takes precedence. Um, also, but you see the J, the JSON here, so you can define your variables in JSON format if you wanted to. Uh, you can read over the documentation on that. It's it's, base, it's very simple. It's instead of using the Terraform language, you're just using JSON to specify it. But that's basically everything about variables. Uh, make sure you subscribe or hit the subscribe button below, and I will see you in the next video.